spend hours in your head thinking about something that happened, could have happened, or might happen? Do you ask others what to do so you don't make a mistake? Welcome to the Plain It Safe podcast. I am Dr. Z, your host. I am a clinical psychologist, an author, and a person that is super passionate about sharing with you science-based skills to overcome any type of fear-based struggles. Who doesn't experience fear? Who doesn't play it safe? In this show, we will discuss how fear-based reactions happen in day-to-day life, how playing it safe behaviors look like, sound like, and feel like, how you can put into action solid tips from behavior science to get unstuck from worries, fears, obsessions, and anxieties, and how you can start doing what works, what matters, and what you care about. Behavioral science doesn't have to be boring. Thanks for listening, and let's get started. Months ago, I was working on a book proposal, and while I was super excited about this project, I was also anxious about writing the wrong things, saying too much or too little, or not fully explaining the main ideas. Of course, my mind, as a content-generating machine and as a pattern-making machine, quickly ran through all the things that could go wrong, terribly wrong, awfully wrong with a proposal, my career, and my relationships. While all those thoughts were coming one after another, I realized that I was afraid of making a mistake. And when I say that I was afraid of making a mistake, I mean that I was terrified of making a mistake. The fear of making mistakes is a real thing, and left to its own devices pushes us for a specific outcome the perfect outcome, the right outcome. Why do we get hooked on perfectionistic actions? Why do we pursue doing things right and perfect? Why do we keep pushing ourselves for the ideal outcome? One of the reasons to pursue perfectionistic actions is that the fear of making mistakes shows us how much we deeply and genuinely care about a particular project, task, activity, or encounter. For instance, when working on that book proposal, behind my anxiety of making potential mistakes and my mind running through all types of possible negative outcomes, I was invested in making research-based skills accessible to everyone. And I was very clear about that. Because we care, we do get afraid of making mistakes. It just happens that many times our brain has created the association that A particular activity at a given time is the only way to show how much we care about something. It's like the brain has put together one of our values with a single activity. Or in other words, the brain has put together what we care about with a single action. So a failure on that activity could somehow jeopardize the things that we care about. Isn't that tricky? If my brain tells me that this is the only way to do what I care about, wouldn't I be afraid of making a mistake? Of course. When having this association, one value equals one action, our brain looks at outcomes as either or, this or that, black and white, either I'm a failure or I am successful. And if we take our brain too seriously, we start putting so much pressure on ourselves. There are circumstances in which a particular meeting, gathering, or situation has special implications for us, and we do want a particular outcome, like going for a job interview, your wedding day, performing in front of a crowd, and so many others. But most of the times, there is so much more than one single activity to live our values and to put into action what we care about. It just happens that the fear of making mistakes pushes us to hold on to the belief that there is only one way, one chance, or one opportunity of doing what we care about, that we get stuck in looking at things in extremes. If you are afraid of making a mistake and your mind is telling you that there is only one way to do things right and perfect, here is what you can do to effectively handle that moment of stuckness. First, 
check what you really care about when feeling scared about making a mistake in a particular situation. For example, if you are going on a date and you are afraid of saying the wrong thing, ask yourself, what's so important for me about saying the right things when meeting this person? What's really behind this fear? What's the stuff that I care about behind this fear? Is it connecting with that person? Is it being in a loving and caring relationship? Second, after clarifying what you care about, list different ways, at least 10 different ways in which you can show what matters in that particular situation. Going back to the dating example, if your values are being loving and caring in a relationship, in which other ways you can show that value when going on a date? Maybe it's by asking questions or paying attention to what a person is saying in front of you or sharing things about yourself. Those are other ways that you can put your value into action. And third, be prepared to be scared about making mistakes. But instead of blindly doing what fear pushes you to do, act on what matters. Wanting to do things right and perfect is a natural want. Being afraid of making a mistake and messing things up is pretty real. We do want to do things right and perfect because we care. But getting consumed with the thought that there is only one way, one chance, or one opportunity to show what we care about, that's a different story. Thanks for listening. If you like this episode, I will very much appreciate it if you will subscribe and share this podcast with your friends. And if you're feeling extra generous, I welcome a review on Apple Podcasts. Show notes of this episode are in the website playingitsafe.com. Make sure to subscribe to my newsletter so you can receive more tips to stop all types of unworkable playing it safe actions. See you soon!